Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sir Gama and this video is a part of my YouTube video series all about music business for independent artists. And I release a new video every Friday if you are new to the channel teaching about different techniques and different things about music business for an independent artist that must be done and about which people are not aware of. So you might want to check the whole playlist and everything that I release in series to get the most out of this uh, video series. You will get the link in the description and somewhere here in the cards also. And also if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and like button. You, you can like the video after you see the video if you like exactly what I'm telling you here. But you can subscribe also and it helps the channel a lot. With that being said, let's get started. The topic that we are going to do today is how to apply and register in Song Trust. Now, what is Song Trust and why should you register in Song Trust? I have made a whole dedicated video explaining each and everything about this. And you can get the link in the description of those videos and also here in the cards. So Song Trust is basically a publishing administrator. You can get all the details as I told about detail in what is publisher, what is publishing administrator, what is the difference between releasing and distributing your song versus publishing a song. And all these details have been covered in the videos that I mentioned in the card and in the description. So you might want to check those videos out before applying to the Song Trust. So you know exactly what you are signing in for. Okay, so Song Trust is a publishing administrator who helps collect all the royalties from throughout the world in a nutshell so let's head on and let's see how you can get started with this cool so now uh, this is the website songtrust.com you can head on here and this is the home page as you can see and there are a lot of things going on here a video and pub music publishing guide they also have a music publishing guide for people who do not know what is music publishing exactly so uh, i've made everything like which is written in this very simple and clear in layman's language in my previous videos so you might want to check those out so for here if you are new you want to join if you already have an account you just have to sign in so first we'll go to the joining section okay so it takes us to the page register for song trust now from here you just have to put in your name which is sir gamma so to be honest this is not my legal name this is my alias or my artist name which i used to release music and uh, used to perform dj gigs by this name but here you have to put in your legal name so let's correct it and let's suppose my legal name is john jacob which is not but let's just suppose so my email id is john jacob at email.com something like that and then i'll have my phone number i'm from india so we'll select india from here which is which is which is which is this and then i have my phone number something like this then you have to make a password then you have to re-enter that password cool so these are the payment details uh, let me tell you about the payment about of song trust so basically they charge a one-time setup fee which is hundred dollars and if you head on to the link in the description which i have right now you can get instant 10 percent off which is ten dollars off and you can sign in in song trust for ninety dollars you can also see here i have my own coupon code applied and which is ninety dollars right now so if i remove this it's it's hundred dollars again you can head on to the link in the description and then avail ten dollars off instantly while registering in song trust through my link cool so uh it says this is for one writer hundred dollars so they take one time account setup fee which is hundred dollars and after that you just have to register your songs every time you release a new song and registration of songs is free for lifetime after giving this fee yeah so you have to register it for free and then they collect everything every money that you are making around the world for publishing and they just keep a simple administration fee cut from those royalties and they pay you the rest back now it says for one writer what does this mean one writer means that song trust will be collecting money on behalf of only one person right now which is john jacob now if you are a label or not exactly a label if you manage two or three people together so then you have to edit the number of writers here see this this can be confusing but i'll explain everything to you i release a song which has two artists in it one is me and one is someone else so there are two primary artists in the song but i do not need to collect the royalties on behalf of the other artist also i am just concerned about myself because i do not manage that artist so 
you just have to put in one writer if you are only collecting your own royalties you should not be bothered about collecting royalties of someone else and uh, you can let them know that this is the place where i am getting my royalties of this song you can also do the same by doing this now this also collects only for the publisher see if you are a publisher this will collect only for you if there are two publishers of a song which is not the case in in a lot of uh cases like more than 99% cases there is only one publisher of a song so you just need to keep this writer one and if you want to collect royalties on behalf of someone else also then you need to change it and then the price will also change for example if we do it for two writers and apply then it's 200 dollars yeah so for one writer it's 100 dollar and i guess they have a scheme if you have more than five or six writers they give you some discount also but i don't think that you will be needing that so just edit here and do it one writer then apply and if you visit through my link you don't have to apply a discount code and it will be 90 dollars instead of 100 check this box put in your card details here and after that submit payment and complete registration so after you complete registration you will be registered as a writer in song trust but that's not it you will not get money after just doing this so let's go back on the song trust website and now we have already joined then you will get all the verification emails and everything like check your emails you will get all the details then you have to you know make your uh, login id password and everything then you will be able to log in to your account of song trust so which i already have right now and let's sign in here and these are my credentials and then we we'll log in now this is the dashboard yeah so from here you can go towards your right in the menu and there are a lot of things here and i'll guide you to every thing here this is the main dashboard that you have right now which shows here your earnings of all the quarters from your songs that you have registered so basically the payments that you get after registering your song in song trust you start receiving your payments after 9 months and trust me you have to register in song trust you must register in song trust because your song is being streamed on youtube on Spotify or on any other streaming app then if your distributor is giving you some money then for sure your mechanical royalties and your other types of income which i have explained in detail in my video that how many types of royalties are there and how you can claim them so you can just visit that video and get yourself educated about the types of royalties and how much royalties you are earning just by releasing your song and how you should claim them yeah so if you are getting even a little bit money from your distributor and you registered in song trust i can guarantee you you will also get money from song trust so see you were already claiming like you were already making that money you were not just claiming it if you do not claim the money that you are owed so it stays in the pool somewhere in the world for about 3 years 2 to 3 years if i am not wrong and after 2 to 3 years that money goes in a black box what is a black box so black box in music industry terms is a place where all the money is collected which is not given to anyone or anyone is not claiming that money that money is being made and which is every year in billions of dollars millions and billions of dollars people are not claiming their money so that goes into a black box and after 2 to 3 years all of that money is divided into the top charting artist of those years this is because these people assume that if no one else is claiming that money then this money belongs to the people who are already topping the charts they might have made this money which anyone else is not claiming so your money is being given to Britney Spears Beyonce and Harry Styles and all the Justin Bieber Skrillex all the leading chart topping artists so you have to claim your money so it doesn't go to the people who are already rich okay so now we come into the dashboard this is your earning section and uh they here they tell you what is the next payout date and some details here you can just see once if you wish to after this the second is set lists so set list is the most underestimated thing that artists do not do in song trust what is a set list submission let's suppose you are a dj even if you are not a dj but you know that your song was played somewhere publicly yeah like i am a dj and i play uh, in clubs in dj sets and i also play my songs because obviously why not so when i play a song at a particular location you have to submit that at what venue and at what event your song and which song was played 
and that song must be registered in song trust for song trust to claim money and uh, if you are thinking that if my song is played in an event why will and and how will i get money from it then you need to see my video which i mentioned earlier how many types of royalties are there and how to claim them that will explain each and every question that you have about royalties and how you earn those and why are you getting paid if your song is being played in a wedding or in a dj concert or something so from here you have to just select a country let's suppose it was india my song was played in india then you have to put in the date which was let's suppose 1st june name of the performer let's go with alan walker uh you got a aim for the stars then the name of the venue which was let's suppose this the address which was let's suppose this and then the songs the songs which you can submit from setlist submission are the songs which you have registered in song trust you cannot submit any song which is not registered here and how to register your songs and we'll get to that in the later section of the video then i have four songs registered in song trust right now then i'll say se select let's suppose then i'll select kolnaya let's suppose this was played we can also select multiple songs let's suppose rehla was also played then i have to submit this setlist and these are the previous set lists that i have submitted and you can use these set lists also to lessen your hassle and do all these details again let's suppose i use this set list again then reuse set list are you sure you want to reuse these set list reuse means the exact songs were played with exact same details yeah now let's head on to the next section which is royalties so as the name suggests it shows you how much royalties you have earned through song trust which are explained in statistical and very graphical manner with a pie chart and all of that so the mechanical royalties that i have earned of my songs is 87.5% and 12.5% royalties are the performance royalties what are these royalties what is a mechanical royalty what are performance royalty and how are these earned you have to see my video in which i tell what type of royalties there and how to claim them that video is really important for everyone who is in this music business industry and who is releasing songs basically and uh, if you are thinking that your songs is not being streamed so much even my songs are not that famous famous right now you know but still i am aiming for the future and i am here to make it big and if you are not even thinking to make it big in future and you are underestimated then you should not be in the industry in the first place i'm so sorry to say this but unfortunately if you are not thinking to make it big and you are not optimistic with your content you do not believe in yourself Uh, that you can make a lot of money in future with your songs then the industry is not for you you need to have a vision first yeah which i do have and that's why i'm doing all of this which will matter a lot in future when my songs will start making a lot of money this is basic like the mechanical royalties and performance royalties that you made right now nothing complicated you can select the period of time of which you want to see the royalty collection then we'll go to the next section from here which is account settings account settings are really basic things like your personal information billing information notifications tax documentation okay so the tax documentation part is the one that i want to help you with so these all organizations like a lot of distributors even the tune core which i use and uh song trust sound exchange and if you do not know what i'm talking about when i said sound exchange you need to visit that video the royalty collection video and also uh, i have a separate video in which i tell details about sound exchange so you will get the link in the description and also somewhere here cool so then uh, all of these organizations are based in us and the royalty or the money that you are collecting are collected in us dollars and are based in us then if you want to take all those royalties and gain that money in your local currency which is inr indian national rupee for me then i have to take all the money from us and transfer it to my account in india for that i need to give us government a withholding tax now withholding tax is 30% which is a lot of money so withholding taxes 30% in us then i'll earn that money it will come to india and then i have to pay taxes on the money that i received in india to indian government also now to save this double taxation indian government and us government has a treaty in between them which is called dtaa if i'm not wrong i do not remember the full form exactly double taxation something something yeah so in this under this treaty that 30% of tax withholding is lessened to 15% 
but for that you have to fill a form and give this tax form to song trust and to other organizations also sound exchange etc etc from which you are gaining money you have to give that tax withholding uh, form and then your 30 percent tax withholding will be lessened to 15 percent yeah and i guess if you are in uk then this tax withholding is zero percent but for india it's 15 percent cool so the name of the form that you have to submit is w8 ben b e n so w8 b e n form is the one that you have to fill and submit and give to song trust you can get a lot of tutorials on youtube on how to submit a w8 ben form if you are an indian you can get help from those tutorials and if you want me to make one please let me know in the comments and i'll help you with that also so then you have to uh, you'll get the pdf of w8 ben form online you can download that fill that uh, sign that digitally or take a printout sign it scan it again and then send that form to song trust like upload here it says update w8 here then you have to update here then you have to select all the details let's go here once i am an indian i am from india see it says 15 percent tax will be withheld so you have to save country and then you have to drag your file whichever pdf file that you have you have scanned you have to drag it here and then submit it which i'll not do because i already have my w8 ben submitted as you can see here it was uploaded on 30th march 2021 also one more thing if you want to get paid by song trust your minimum royalty collection revenue should be five dollars so song trust won't be able to pay you if your royalties are less than five dollars that is the threshold you have to meet and then you can transfer your money to your payoneer account Payoneer account is a bank account which you can use globally. So it's a service that helps you collect money from anywhere, almost anywhere in the world and then transfer or exchange that money and then convert that money into your local currency which is INR for Indians and transfer it to your local bank account. From here we'll go to the next section which is YouTube. Song Trust also claims YouTube content ID of your song. So like uh, song trust also helps in claiming the videos which are using your song on youtube and i'll show you in pip right now in video you can see that in my song kolna aya there are uh, three names you can see under copyright claims so it basically means one is on behalf of my distributor which is on behalf of me tune core on behalf of sir gamma which is me and then the next one you can see song trust and the next one you can see bmi bmi is the pro of U united states yeah so these so basically these organizations saw that this song is registered in song trust and it is being played on youtube then we need to claim the royalties for that so youtube also pays different types of royalties one is to the distributor which is for the master recording one is to the song trust which is for publishing and one is to the pro uh, which is for you know composers and writers share authors share to be honest in nutshell so if you are getting off guard with everything which i am saying please please visit that video you will get every knowledge and you will be very clear when you'll come back here you'll know everything that i'm saying yeah cool so uh, song trust also claims your youtube content there are uh, three sections one from which is a manual claim manual claim means if you know there is a video which is using your song and it is not being claimed by song trust right now which has more than 10000 views then you can copy that youtube video url submit here then you have to uh, type the title of your song and then you have to uh, put in the timing of the video in which your song is being used or you can also take this if your song is being played in the entire video then you have to claim your song submit on claim your song and then song trust will make sure that they put a copyright claim on that particular video so that you get your publishing royalties and then there is the second section which says that the videos which are claimed already song trust has claimed those videos and then the allow listed channels allow listed channels are the channels that you want to whitelist what is whitelisting whitelisting is that you do not want song trust to collect royalties from that particular channel even if they are using your song this uh, is useful because let's suppose uh, you are a youtuber you are putting up content and you are directly being paid via youtube then you do not want everyone to collect your royalties from your every video on youtube for example i publish my video on youtube i use my song but then song trust comes and says wait 
I need to claim money of this video because this song is of Sir Gama, which is registered in Song Trust, and it's a job. But I do not want to give Song Trust the money of that video because I am a YouTuber and I earn directly from those videos. So that's where allow listed channels comes in. You have to put in the channel link here, add channel, and then Song Trust will not claim money from those channels. So let's get on to the next section, which is songwriters. So, as soon as you register first time while paying the fee, which I told you in the starting as a songwriter, you will be registered here. And then you have to see your application status. If this says that you are, there are some things you need to do, you have to submit or apply for something else. You just need to be active in this application status things. Make sure of that. And then you have to up, update your everything, things in here. One more thing which is very important, you need to register in a PRO before you register in Song Trust. You need to be registered in PRO of your country, which is IPRS, so that Song Trust can connect with the IPRS and everything is connected in itself. So Song Trust knows that which PRO I am registered in and from where I am getting my uh, author share and publisher share. So they can have a good connection between and everything does not doubles up. IPRS says that we have to give Sir Gama this money, but Song Trust says no, he is registered with us. We need to give this money. So you need to tell them in which PRO you are currently registered right now. So after this, you have to go to the songs. These are the songs that I have registered. Now I'll tell you how to register a new song here. If you have already applied and you are an active songwriter in Song Trust, then you need to go here, register a song. Yeah. For example, I register my Kul Naya song once again. And if you haven't heard my original songs, you can get the link in the description and you can stream my music and I hope you like it. Cool. So let's suppose I have to register Kolna Aya. Is this song a public domain? No, this song is not. So after this, I have to put in the songwriter, which is me right now. Let's suppose I uh, take lyrics and music ownership both. So the way it works is what ownership do you have on the song? Ownership as in uh, what part of your song you are owning, right? So I own the lyrics of the song also. I own the music of the song also. For example, I say uh, I do not have any partnership with anyone. So I own 100% of it. I do not have any partnership with anyone in which I distribute the percentage of royalties that I'll be claiming. So I own 100% of this. Yeah. So in next section, if there is a co-writer, uh, in my case, there is every time. So I have some co-writers which are registered here. These are not from Song Trust. So, uh, so you won't be able to collect money for them, but you can just mention them here so that if they have registered somewhere else, so Song Trust knows that this percentage is for this writer. So this is the writers and then you have to give them an ISWC and ISWC is International Standard Musical Work Code, which is a little bit different from an ISRC. And if you do not know what is an ISRC and how you can own your own ISRC instead of using the ISRC, which distributors give for free, just check my video, which I'll give in the card and also link in the description. And you can register and get an ISRC registrant code which is on your name in India for free and you can use them in your music videos as well. Not only in your songs, but also in music videos, which will help you gain more royalties in future. Cool. With that said, let's go on to the next section. Uh, you will be having an ISWC only if you are registered in uh, your PRO as a publisher, which is a different thing. If you have it, it's fine. If you don't skip this part, then lyrics, which is optional, but I guess you should uh mention the lyrics of the song whichever song you are uploading if this ha if the song has vocals you should upload the lyrics then you go here and register this song and in lyrics also you can see there are different section full lyrics and you can also give simply chorus also which is uh, just the chorus section where they have dedicated box for that and i guess that's pretty much it and that's how you can apply in song trust uh, collect your performance and mechanical royalties from all over the world and then you have to register every song you release if you want to earn royalties of that particular song 
that's pretty much it if you have any doubts or questions you can always you know comment on the video and let me know if you have any specific problem and you want me to make a video on that you can also mention that in the comment i'll be very glad to help you guys out and with that said we are done with everything in song trust that we need to know as of now and uh, if you are cool and if you want to follow me on instagram you will get my username somewhere here and also the link in the description if you want to stream my original music you will get the link in the description of that as well and if you want to support the channel you will get a link of buy me a coffee in the description and if you like the content that i make and the way i taught you about song trust and i have a lot of other things that i am educating people about on my channel please check those out please hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe and press that bell icon so that you stay updated with every video that i upload on every friday and i'm also about to upload music production videos deconstructions of my songs how i made that song mixing tutorials mastering tutorials and a lot of things and specific sources that i put in my songs and a lot of things are there on the way so i would want you to subscribe to the channel and we'll meet you soon in the next video next friday thank you so much peace out bye bye take care